and this is my road to Sundays. I first started playing football when I was in eighth grade. Pretty much started playing football because my brother uh, started playing and I saw a lot of the attention that he started getting and figured that if he could do it, I could do it too. I look up definitely to my brother, my oldest brother, Septo, and um, just because, you know, so many things that, uh, you know, we've been through together. Um, you know, since my mom passed away, he was there uh, throughout my whole entire senior year uh, when my dad left. It was just cool, you know, being with him, um, kind of showing me the ropes and everything. Being a high recruit, highly recruited in uh, high school, um, got a lot of offers from a lot of D1 programs. On signing day, I signed with South Carolina. I uh, got hurt my first uh, during camp, uh, my first year there. Redshirted my freshman year, came back my redshirt freshman year. Uh, played all 12 games, started two. Uh, after that season, uh, going into spring ball, I uh, came out as a starting left guard. But just a lot of things didn't really mix for me uh, at South Carolina. Really wasn't happy with the whole situation. Um, with me being there, I felt like I chose to go to South Carolina for other reasons than for myself. So I left the team, I left South Carolina, and I went out to Kansas to Dodge City. So I, I went out for the team, but the third day of uh, summer ball, uh, I tore my MCL on my left knee. Uh, so I wasn't able to play that season. After that season had ended, a recruit from, or a scout from Liberty came and found me out there. I took my visit to Liberty, loved it, loved everything about it, and signed with Liberty. I uh, played there for 05 and 06 season and 07 season. But just a great, you know, spiritual growth for me personally. Just the atmosphere of the the university, the people around me, uh, the people that I met, the connections that, you know, with the players and everything. It's just an amazing experience. You know, Stephen Sine is a great story. Uh, if you look at his background, he's a guy who had um, an opportunity to come in at South Carolina as a redshirt freshman and start at left guard, and then as a result of some family circumstances, transferred out of South Carolina, but at the end of the day would have been a four-year starter in the SEC on the offensive line at the University of South Carolina which is a huge uh, huge win for him and it's just making sure that story is clear in the NFL and the fact that he started a left tackle for the last three years at Liberty uh, I think there's some exciting things there based on what he did at the hula ball I think he's going to start to move up a lot of people's boards I believe I have what it takes to be an offensive lineman uh, in the NFL I definitely have the size passionate dominating full throttle you know, the way I look at it is, is playing football, and I've been playing football for a long time now. I know that the stakes are higher, but it's just a transition from, you know, college ball to NFL. All right. We were just on live, showing you all Steve's money. He was talking about how he was in the league. He was all excited. Over $1.5 million. But you know what happened to this guy? My little sour. Hit him face. Let me tell you what happened to this guy. <laughs> He got rich and he got involved with the wrong people. He married some chicken head that didn't really care about him. So all she wanted was his money. Look, all this right here. And now, divorced. He loses all of his cash. $1.5 million down the drain. All that. All that. Gone. Gone.